Alright, welcome to another episode of On the Ride Home. I'm your host, Robert Ryan, and this is my co-host, Thea. Uh, we just watched the movie Calvary. It's coming out. It's starring Brendan Gleeson. Uh, you might know him from Harry Potter. He plays Mad-Eye Moody. Uh, in this movie, he's actually playing a priest in the Catholic Church uh, in a small town in Ireland place in modern times. The plot of the movie is Father James is in the confessional booth. One of the church members is in there and basically threatens Father James' life and tells him that he's going to kill him in one week, uh, the next Sunday. The whole movie is about his responses and how he reacts to this whole problem uh, emotionally, while at the same time dealing with everyone else's problems and trying to help everyone else with theirs. Right. So it's like basically we're in we, the audience, you know, we are traveling along with him throughout that one week's um, time while he's heading towards his, you know, his, death. his death or his incident, you know, and, and, you know where with, with the deranged guy who wants to kill him because, why does want, the guy want to As a scapegoat, um, to um, because the guy was molested by a Catholic priest. Right, as a young child. So basically, he wants revenge from all that pent up uh, emotional baggage oh, oh. of being uh, raped as a child in the Catholic Church by a Catholic priest. And so he feels that he needs to take that out and get revenge on that by killing Father James, even though Father James had nothing to do. With right. him specifically, but because he, he was a wants revenge. right, because he's a representative of the Catholic Church. Right. The guy is like, you know what? Like I'm gonna, you know, come to the beach at a certain time, certain day. You know, you're gonna beat to death, that kind of thing. We need to see Father James go through that emotionally, through those emotional stages uh, of anger, uh, denial, uh, denial, yeah, denial, first. denial, anger, sadness, and then acceptance in the end. And, uh, right. And it, he does a really good job bringing out those emotions in the character, and you really feel for him while he's going through those stages. So the movie itself, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Um, in that it was a good story. Uh, the action buff in me, you know, uh, I like you know the comedies, the sci-fi fantasies, you know that kind of movie. Those are the ones I really enjoy watching. I, I really get into those. Uh, but this one is really story driven. It, it, and I do like good stories. And I have to say this was really well written. Uh, it's a really good story. Uh, it evokes a lot of emotion in you. And it pulls you into that character to really want to be there for that person and support that person. Unless you're and, the and, type opposite and, person and, don't care. Yeah. And, and, and as, a, as a viewer, I thought that character is really, really too good to be true almost because he's just like... He's this caring priest who, despite, you know, him knowing that he's going to he's be threatened for his life, you know, um, of his life, you know, by this lunatic guy, and knowing that the, that the time is getting nearer and nearer, and he has to face, you know, either go there or not, you know, just having to face a decision. And while he's doing that, he's tending to everybody else's problems. Like, people come to him because, you know... Um, for help and for advice and 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 a lot of the times they're not very um, thankful grateful people right, they're not receptive to they're them. not receptive to his advice they, they treat him like whatever like they treat him like they treat him oh, like you shit know, you, you know? don't know what you're talking about father you know you know and the one business guy you know he's a very angry business guy he's going through a lot of problems himself and he takes it out on father James and um, it, it insults him and it's it yeah, insults really. his religion Catholicism, like how can you, how can you even face being Catholic? That kind of attitude, and the whole movie's attitude is like, like kind of like that towards Father. I feel like he, despite feeling a lot of um, animosity from a lot of right. the town, the, the small village, from the village um, people, despite all that, he still holds that integrity. And in order to do that, that takes a pretty 
special kind of person. I, I feel that this was Father James's trials and tribulations um, that he's going through. Um, he's being tested at the very end of his life, basically, um, in a short span. And his faith is being tested. Um, he even gives advice to a young man and says, oh, you know, this is bad, but only, you know, only during this situation. And, you know, that, that's a tricky um, position to be in. And he has to deal with that himself in that very exact same situation. And, you know, how does a Catholic person or a religious person uh, who sticks with their beliefs, you know, how are you going to deal with that exact same situation? Do you go with your belief or right. just going against your belief? One thing I was thinking about asking you, because you're a Christian, and you know, while I was watching the movie, is that yeah. do you think in that movie the story parallels to um, Jesus Christ, or like how you know like he he died for the people sin maybe the, on the cross, like even though he knows he doesn't deserve it or anything, he still you well, know, maybe goes a, through with it, maybe in a knowing small, that he's going to his death. Maybe in a small <laughs> way he does a little bit. Uh -huh. Only in, I don't want to compare him to Christ. Himself well, from what we know of Christ, you know, from what the Bible tells us. Right. But in a way, yes, because he's trying to help people. You know, he's trying to give them advice and trying to lead them to a right path, just as much as Jesus did. You know, he told people, you know, you should love thy neighbor and, you know, give up your worldly possessions to those who are less fortunate, that kind right. of thing. And he does that too, because he is Christian um, in a way. I mean, Catholicism well, is Christianity. Anyway. But, you know, he's doing those things, and everyone else is going against him. And I suppose you could look at saying that the guy who wants to kill him is the, or, or the is, Romans and the Jews who wanted well, to kill him to begin with, right. in, in, in that way. And, and you know, and sort of the whole, watching the whole movie, the entire time, I was like, why is this, this guy going, first of all, the, the, the police, the policeman, the in, inspector there, and he's you know, um, he, he, he's one of the people that needs help, you know, who has problems of his own and things like that. And he doesn't quite help Father James, you know, get out of this mess, you know. And the whole time I was thinking, why isn't he going to the police or why doesn't he go to a even bigger, maybe to a bigger town, you know, get Just higher leave. authorities in. But then, I, but then I was thinking while I was watching the movie that maybe it's like, I mean, I'm not saying that he is Christ or anything, but I'm just saying um, it's kind of like Christ where he knows that, you know, no, no, I mean, he knows he has to go through with this in order to um, prove to people that not every Catholic priest is that, you know, that he is strong to, not, not every priest is, you know, because right. the Catholic, Catholic, Catholic uh, Church has had a, a bad name recently with all the um, because of all the um, scandals, yeah. you know, sex, sex scandals and things like that. So, so you know, that's why maybe he thought, you know, well, I need to go through with at least facing um, the skeptics, facing the skeptics. He faces them face on, you know, even because he could easily have. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that at all. Because he was trying way. to leave the country or something like that, you know, but then no, he, he was at the airport. He, and then he, he was at the airport, yes. He went to the airport to leave at like the, the last day. Yeah, but what, ma we have to ask what, what makes him stay, you know? So, so that's, that's a, a, you know, that's a point of discussion. It's one of those movies where you can keep on debating, you know, like, Yeah, you it's know. definitely, it's got a lot of philosophy in there that you can debate, you know, why did he do this, why did he do that? It's right. very thought provoking. It, it's well done. I, I liked it. In terms of the mood, I feel like I agree with you. And the mood is a little too slow in terms of. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, a lot, a lot of the quiet. Humor, Story driven. Though. Yeah, a lot of the quiet. A lot of. Um, I, I know a lot of um, British and Irish and Scottish movies and stuff, kind of like that. A little slower pace, um, somber mood, um, maybe a little bit quieter humor, um, quiet, a little bit mood, dry humor. One of the things that, one of the scenes, I, you know, um, and spoiler alert, nobody watches this past this point, I guess, if you don't want to know, um, but one of the, the biggest, the first question that came out of Robert's mouth after we are done with watching the movie, he turns to me and he goes, um, who killed the dog? 
Yeah. Because like, there's a uh, the father, father James dog gets killed by you know by a bad guy. You know, and, and no, we don't figure out um, who actually killed the dog. Right. Or why? Well, why we can figure out why because there was animosity towards him. Okay. Sure. And, and what he represents the yeah. Catholic the church. You know. But yeah, he when he's faced with his death, he just he asks the guy before he dies, answer me one thing: Why did you kill my dog? And of all this stuff, I get why you're going to kill me, but why did you have to kill my dog? He's like, I didn't kill your dog. Why would that's, I want to kill your dog? Yeah. I love animals. <laughs> and like, that's pretty much it. Um, and it's like... I did some research, it? and I found out who. It's, um, it's supposed to be the barkeep. Because in, in, the, in, the, really? in the scene, um, of, I guess when he's killing the dog, I didn't notice this, but there was supposed to be a bandage can. And the barkeep had a pink bandage can on as well. It's not a big spoiler or anything, you know, um, but it's just a little tidbit, I guess, you know. Interesting. It doesn't really land it with anything to the story or anything, but add anything extra to the story. So if you're a story-driven person who really like it as a story, um, go watch this movie. I definitely recommend it. Um, I would rate the movie um, about a 7. Yeah. Me too. I, I would rate it a 7 as yeah. well. I, I, although I feel like I'm being biased because I, it's not my type of yeah. movie, but yeah, I, I do love good stories. Right. This is a good story. For more action, so sci-fi, fantasy movie, yeah. so movie. So I, I would give it a seven. Um, it is yeah. good. So, so that's it. And thank you for watching, and hope to see uh, see you guys in the movie theaters. Maybe you'll see us in the movie theater. Uh, We're the couple it? that'll be fighting. Yeah. Right. Comment below. Uh, join us in our discussions. Uh, what did you guys think of the movie? Uh, what do you not like about the movie? Um, why did he throw his gun in the water at the end? You know, comment below. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to get rid of evidence. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still trying to. All right, thank you. Have a good night.